Donald Trump, the presumptive GOP presidential nominee, has reportedly called Milwaukee a, quote, horrible city. Several breaking stories. A 66-year-old man was shot and killed by Milwaukee police this morning. I need to check to see if me and Mailman <laughs> Mike are related. Cool as a cucumber, he reminds me of one of my, like, cousins. Breaking overnight, Keith Posley has resigned as superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools. A little bit of a problem this morning. We're supposed to be inside. That's what happens when you ask people to open up for you so early in the morning. So maybe the manager is still in the bed. If you know him, give him a call for us. If our photojournalist Wes can actually turn the light off so you can see what the residents are dealing with this morning. You can see the conditions here, pitch black. Well, Adriana, can your mom call my mom? Because she hasn't watched <laughs> me in years. Oh, so. really? Oh, well, we're going to have to <laughs> talk to her about Come that. on, mama. <laughs> Break up. Camilla may look familiar to you. She certainly did to us. And that's what made us double check the missing alert from MPD. The parade is now over. But look, it's only, what, 1230. The party is just now getting started. And we know weather stops. No party. Yes, it is hot out here. People have the waters, the fans. Christmas tree farms say this year. Oh, we have some music. <laughs> like this. One of them that stuck out, of course, David Sorensen, the husband of Virginia, also known as Jenny Sorensen. He talked about justice being served today. Have you always been a woman of faith or was there a pivotal moment that really changed this for you? I, morning. I am in mourning. <laughs> of summer. Everyone leave me alone today. I am in mourning. Dealing with the snow and the wind right now and bracing for what's to come because, friends, it is expected to get worse. We have team coverage this afternoon. There was a seat here for Tom. I thought they said he couldn't fit. Now, you Tom said that he didn't know if he could fit the height requirements. He said that. I did. Chuck said she's been ready for a long time when talking about you ready for this meet the press position. You describe Chuck as your mentor. How does it feel to hear him say something like that? It took my breath away. Ah. Mm. Oh, I hear the crunch. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm making you hold my plate. <laughs> Many people have been walking up to the crime tape here. Just standing here. They just want to see it for themselves. They also want to take pictures and videos. They just want to feel what some of their friends and their neighbors had to feel. He was dribbling kind of crazy, and I was like, is the ball flat or you just don't know how to dribble? So I guess it's a mixture. Right? It's it's a mixture, yeah. I don't think it has it's regulation. Are you left handed? Why are you dribbling with your Well, left because hand? I have a microphone in my right hand. Switch it up. Let me see if you're better. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Normally, when we say these things, you know, you just feel good <laughs> on a Friday. You right, just know you're going to have the best weekend. You're like, I'm going to go do this and do that. Mm -hmm. Well, someone on a stretcher there, you can see some people walking towards the scene there as well. So police officers and fire crews on the scene right now. We are hearing reports of a fire, but the Milwaukee Fire Department has not confirmed that just yet. With all the conversations, I know you've seen the hard fouls and all of that. Do you think we're just paying close attention to this because it's Caitlin Clark? Uh, we have made a lot of progress, guys. Also, a lot more people out here this morning. Tony Carney, you want to say hi? Really quick, just wave. You're live on. <laughs> right here. The, man, the North Cop man <laughs> caught him right in action. You know, they say do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. That must be true for one Wisconsin man because even at 91 years old, he is still at it. We didn't know how this was going to be handled during the debate. The absence of former President President Donald Trump. It was brought up last night, but it wasn't until pretty late in the game. I was watching the clock. Oh, y'all are pretty busy. Well, no, you keep you. Well, you, if I could talk today, Lynn, <laughs> you want to come over here and help me? I've had those days. <laughs> trust me. I'm there with you, Simone. Thank you. We appreciate you. All right. Let's see if I can continue talking. 724 now with meteorologist Marissa Wallace.